This is a lesson for you. When you bullshit and when you lie, you don't like to make firm, firm points because you're giving points of attack, right? If you make a firm statement, it can be firmly debunked. Is it uh, true that uh, you and your brother made money from uh, video chat uh, no. studios? No, that's not true at all. That's not true at all. I first became a multimillionaire by running a webcam studio. So I ran a webcam studio. I used to run a webcam business. We just start fucking hammering the webcam game. And over time, I just build up this big, this big little em empire of webcam girls. At one, one point, I had four locations, 75 girls working for me. How long ago was your webcam business? Yeah, so I stopped, I stopped having any involvement with it, I think, eight to nine years ago. I stopped. It was a long time ago. It was at the early stages of the internet. And when Corona came, I scaled it back up, right? Because Corona came. Uh, it was locked down. My casinos were closed, so I lost an income. I was making half a million dollars a month from casinos. That closed because they're physical locations in Romania. That closed, and I thought, well, everyone's at home bored. Let me get the webcam going again. So I got a bunch, I got 20 more girls online. We, we scaled that back up to three or $400,000 a month. So I got back into the game hard. I helped the girls set up accounts. You start with a girl, you download OnlyFans on your phone. You take her ID pictures, her name, everything it takes to verify the account. You verify the account on your phone and you control the account. So you are now in charge of her OnlyFans. The girls would sit there fully clothed. They're sitting there with their tits out on a computer. I had naked girls sitting on the internet talking to guys. Just laughing and doing this, the titties out. So I actually think that webcamming and girls as a whole is closer to s therapy than it is porn. Truly, these men are completely miserable and the only joy they have is logging into that website. So I don't think I did exploit that. We got to the point where we had these guys falling in love with my models, serious big time in love, right? Sending crazy money. And they were convinced they were gonna meet the chick. And they were talking to fucking ice cold hustlers. We were taking their money, all of it. If they, they'd come and say, <laughs> what kind of, bro, all of it. We were fucking milking them dry. So they come along and they said, oh, you're a human trafficker. I was like, well, I've never transported anyone. I've never kidnapped anyone. I've never restricted anyone. I've never held anyone. They said, no, but you're human trafficker by the lover boy method. I said, what's that? It's where you pretend to love them. So what, being nice? So I was nice to some girls 10 years ago? Is, is that my crime? I, I, that, maybe I did love them. But we're not together anymore, so what? I pretended? Who said I pretended? Prove I pretended to love. And then what did I pretend to love them to achieve? I have to fuck her so she obeys me. I don't give a shit about having sex with beautiful women. I fuck them so they listen to me. So I can get what I actually want, which is not them. It's a means to an end. Every single Bond girl was exploited. That's exactly what I do. When I watch a Bond film and I see him basically pimp a bitch, to me that speaks to my heart. I've been there. I've done that. Anyone who's followed me long enough knows that I first made my million dollars with a webcam business. I have met beautiful women with a good personality and thought she will make me money. I have to fuck this bitch. I don't want to have sex with her. I just need the money. I like to think there's a statue of limitations. Like how long are you going to hold? They will for the rest of your career. Until I'm sure they will. Yeah. And it's fine. And that's fine. Mm -hmm. But I mean, it's just like, okay, 10 years ago, 10 years, a decade. But now we're coming towards the end of Corona. I'm just going to keep, I'm going to keep like five or six of my main girls. Come bullshit.